Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Surviving Mars, Invent of India. Now we're just on the uh, final sprint to um, getting the domes open here. And uh, that's, um, uh, realistically, uh, there's not much point in uh, doing doing anything else after this. Because uh, then it's just a bunch of busy work. Um, okay, so uh, ice asteroids... Uh, we might as well send the expedition to capture them. Uh, that's the fastest way to bring the water level up. Um, right, so we've got our uh, artificial sun going here. And we've got... Uh, well, we've, we've built uh, a whole... No. Uh, we've built a whole bunch of um, wonders. Uh, you know, we've kind of got all of all of the wonders, right? So uh, there's really not much more to uh, to do. Uh, we've succeeded at the mystery. It's just uh, just busy work. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to run this particular uh, part right up until the domes are open. And that means the atmosphere is at 97%, 95%. Uh, I'm going to run it right up to that. And we'll open the domes, look around a bit, and go, ooh, ah. And then, uh, uh, then at that point, uh, I'm going to call it the end of the series. So this is going to be the end of Inventive India. Now, I, I'm planning to start another Surviving Mars series. Uh, and... Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to uh, do. Uh, uh, maybe I'll pick another uh, random setup and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, uh, you know, we'll see what happens and then uh, m maybe I'll pick some game rules or whatever. Maybe we'll try the last arc game option or something like that. Uh, but I'll... Uh, I'll tr I'll uh, try another uh, another game and we'll see how that goes. Now I I thought about trying a maximum difficulty game, the 1075 difficulty. Uh, that could very well uh, lead to a massive series uh, because I'll end up having to retry multiple times probably to succeed. Uh, I do have a version of that where I have succeeded uh, basically. Uh, where I've got it, just got it to the point where uh, dust storms are done and uh, cold waves are done. So uh, once you get to that point, you're basically sorted because you don't have the disasters, right? Uh, and and that's, that's the key. Um, you know, once you get the atmosphere up high enough, you don't get meteor storms, you don't get dust storms. When, you know, uh, when the temperature gets high enough, you don't get cold waves. You know, and then, uh, you know, then you're pretty much um, there, right? Uh, anyway, uh, we're uh, just uh, ticking along here. Uh, yeah, how fast is the uh, atmosphere going up? Uh, you know, if I uh, drop in another carbonate processor, um, so if we go up here. Uh, if I drop in another carbonate processor, um, that takes uh, resources that we have plenty of. Okay, so if I drop uh, one of those here, maybe I'll drop drop another one of those there. Uh, we'll let those uh, those build up, and that will get the. Uh, atmosphere going up a little bit faster and that'll get us to the uh, the cut point for the series the end point for the series a little bit faster um, yeah so we're uh, you know it gives gives something to the uh, the little drones to do as well uh, yeah let's uh, oh, look at the drones scurrying around isn't it cute uh, anyway <laughs> uh, right Yeah, so we've got plenty of uh, industrial capacity and everything here, so 
you know, there's no uh, no problem getting all of this stuff going. What's that? Why is the pipe red there and white there? Eh, whatever. Okay, that's another one going. And then this one, yeah, it's the drones are still scurrying around, so yeah, that's going to go up real quick as well. Oh, the patient. Uh, right. Yep. Uh, that one, it just sucks 50 million uh, you know, cash from you uh, several times, and then the patient uh, passes on. Uh, you know that that's that's all it it does. It, if you got the cash, you might as well let it play out. I can't remember if it does anything else when it uh, finishes. And uh, one more carbonate processor coming online uh, real soon now. And there we go. Uh, okay. It needs waste rock. There it goes. Uh, okay, so now we're uh, we're uh, building atmosphere a bit faster. Uh, yeah, so we're up to yeah, yeah. That's going up at a uh, good clip. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going up nicely. Uh, okay, so we'll just let that uh, continue operating. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're pretty, pretty well off here. Uh, it, it would be absolutely shocking if, the, uh, if we ended up uh, losing the game at this point. <laughs> absolutely shocking. So, uh, you know, I'm not overly concerned about that. Um, right. Uh, okay, we've got 39 unemployed and 30 vacancies. Interesting. Um, right. So what have we got here? Um, disabled work slots? Well, we might as well enable some work slots here. Yeah. Um, and this one. Yeah, we might as well enable the work slots. Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, meteors, uh, buildings, right, uh, what are we researching, uh, planetary projects, right, okay, what's this, oh, that's just a rock, okay, Yeah, the, the mystery we had here uh, is uh, a particularly annoying one because it leaves behind these here um, sinkholes and uh, you can't get rid of them. Uh, and that's, that's really annoying. Uh, anyway, let's sit here and look at the artificial sun and go, ooh, ah. Ooh, uh, okay, uh, that's enough of that. Um, right. Now, something that we can do here, uh, this doesn't need water anymore. Um, so, so I could turn that off. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, uh, just for uh, giggles. Now, something you can do here. Now, let's just uh, put up a solar panel there. solar panel 
if we put up uh, a bunch of solar panels around this here, you'll see the uh, the fun effect that uh, this thing has. Now see, they're facing the artificial sun. Uh, as long as they're in the uh, range, they'll do that. And they will uh, generate power overnight. Uh, so the patient, again, another 50 million. Right? Uh, what are the, uh, oh, right, you know, I'm going to need, uh, if I'm going to put those up there, uh, I'm going to need a depot for metals, say over here, because I'm going to need to, uh, these need metals for maintenance. Now, the solar panels beside the artificial sun do not take a atmospheric uh, loss. But they do take a, a benefit from the space mirrors. Ooh! They help... Um, they help solar production. Nice! I didn't know that. Uh, okay. So I could build a few more rings of those around there, and each one of these rings will generate... Uh, power. Uh, we're up to almost 80%. You know, I'm just going to uh, do that. Uh, I think I said last time I wasn't going to do this. Uh, right. Okay. So, one. That's the uh, ice asteroids. Mars quake. Uh, right. Uh, the reason for small solar panels is they have a higher uh, power per uh, hex uh, footprint. Uh, so uh, they will give you the maximum uh, power for uh, minimal, uh, for the smallest uh, uh, footprint, but the maintenance is higher. Uh, which is why I uh, build uh, uh, large solar panels usually, is the uh, maintenance per hex is lower. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, no more meteor storms. Uh, but we can uh, capture uh, ice asteroids again. So we'll do that. Um, yeah. Uh, we can land our rocket, yep. And clearly, I need another one of these. Which we can stick right here. Okay. Now, uh, let's uh, continue on our um, tedious... Uh, we got two more rings of these, and uh, I'll remove the uh, um, uh, the what you call it uh, the pipe. Um, in a a bit as well. Uh, Okay, and you can go all the way out to the uh, highlighted ring with these. Uh, oh, we're low on food. Um, okay. Uh, I'm going to need to deal with that. Although, I'm not overly concerned about having a starvation wave. 
Uh, but I'll finish this. Uh, up here. Yeah, okay. Uh, so yeah, so that that's uh, kind of amusing. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, we go in here, uh, we'll build an outside ranch. Um, uh, does that have alternate models? Nope. So we'll put one of those here. And, uh, yeah. Go up here and, uh, you know what? If I stick one here, yeah. Okay, now if I come along and connect up pipes. Oh yeah, so I would have, I would come across uh, in an inconvenient location. Now, I'm also going to need uh, power to that. Power. Power cables. Well, I guess I could just do that too. Yep. Oh right, yeah. Um Yeah, we'll do that. Um now this here will uh will go for cow and we'll do this. Okay. Uh and then this one here will do out and we'll do this good right that should uh, that should get uh, food production that's going to come up with food as well uh, so that should sort out the uh, food thing yeah this guy should only need water to restart so now, what I'm going to do is uh, go in here and uh, I'm going to take that back and, no, that out. Ah, come on. That out. And that out. Okay. Then, we come along here. Power. Cable. Just need to connect that. Good. Now. There we go. Now we can see. I'll rebuild the two that I accidentally destroyed. Then we can go ahead and fill in the gap. There we go. Uh, we have no active research. Um, right. Uh, what have we got over here? We've got... Uh, yeah. Um... Hmm. Yeah, we'll grab that one. Uh, yeah, we'll grab that one and that one. Yeah, might as well grab that one. Yeah, we're just um, putting in the uh, time at the moment. Uh, planetary projects complete, right. Cloud seeding. Okay, what have we got? We've got cloud seeding. Uh, import greenhouse, seed vegetation, uh, we're already, uh, going there. Well, let's, um, let's seed the, uh, the vegetation. Uh, we have 202 seeds, so, uh, we can do that. Uh, right. Um... Okay, we're up at 83. Yeah. So we've got our um, 
artificial sun and our solar panel farm you can sort of max this out just a little bit more by putting in some uh, large solar panels just poking in around the side here um, but uh, that just uh, that's kind of a nice detail they put in here with the uh, the solar panels and the artificial sun um, right uh, okay so uh, how far how long before uh, that guy produces soonish um, new anomalies found oh my um, right okay those guys are working this guy is sitting there doing nothing why um, oh, Waste Rock was full. So I'm producing Waste Rock faster than I'm using it. Well, in that case, um, uh, what I want to do is, we'll go in here, uh, Waste Rock Processor, uh, one, two, three. Okay. Uh, we've. I think we've got some idiot. Um, I think we've got some idiots working some of these uh, buildings. Anyway. Uh, Okay, when these go up, that should uh, that should give us uh, uh, some buffering with the uh... okay. Well, we'll do this and this. That should give us some buffering on on that. Um, now, uh, oh, the patient. Um... Yeah, we'll just keep doing that. You know, it's not like we have any cash laying around. Um, now, concrete. Um, what we're going to do is put up a... Yeah, we have a food shortage, right. That will sort itself out. Uh, right. Uh, what I want to do is uh, grab a uh, storage thingy here. And we'll stick a concrete storage right here um right uh, so how long before that produces food um yeah, a little bit and that oh i should change this to um quinoa is the uh, the big one right yeah, we'll change that to quinoa, and uh, this also to quinoa. Okay, that'll help a little bit, because um, these ranches are going to deliver food in their own time. Uh, but we're not um, not going to be too bad off. You know, like we have a food shortage, but. Uh, nocturnal adaptation is uh, not a bad breakthrough. So we're up to 86% atmosphere here. Uh, right. Um, we're um, gaining 1.2% per sol right now, basically. Um, Okay, so we've got uh, concrete uh, filling in here. Um, 
yeah. Okay, so the uh, the excavator is going to be uh, functioning a lot better now. Uh, right. Uh, food shortage, the, the starving thing is going down and uh, and up again. Uh, okay, there's the patient. Um, uh, so you end up with colonists with enthusiast, uh, the enthusiast perk. Okay. Uh, what does this need? Um, oh, seeds. Yeah, this is the point in the uh, game where you don't worry if you lose a couple hundred colonists. <laughs> Okay, we've just captured ice asteroids again, so we're up to 45% water. Um, um, so we're going to get uh, 30 food um, in... Um, you know, less than a sol, so there's that. You know, uh, let's uh, let's uh, do another seed vegetation project. Uh, we'll land our other rocket here. Yeah, yeah. Stuff with uh, no supplies is not working. Go figure. I could, of course, import food, uh, but I'm not going to. Uh, is we're going to have uh, food production come online soon enough anyway, so there's really no need. Uh, yeah, so we only need another seven and a bit percent, uh, so that's going to be a couple more uh, sols, uh, you know, and that's uh, that's fine. Um, right. We're, uh, uh, let's see, um, those are going to harvest real soon now, that's going to harvest real soon now. Let's see if we can get up to 100% of the population listed as starving, that would be amusing. Um, right. Okay, real soon now, the drones are going to start scurrying around, uh, harvesting food. So, you know, that'll be good. Oh, there's the food. Okay. And there go the drones. Yep, there they go, scurrying around. And uh, the number will be going down. Um, and then, uh, how long before these? These are have a while before they... Before they... Uh, dump their uh, product in there. That is on cow. Okay. 88.5% uh, now. Um, I suppose I could just uh, go in here. Chuck another one of these in.
I mean, why not? Yeah, it gives the drone something to do at the very least. Okay, I can uh, remove those notices. Right, okay, so yeah, our, uh, our food shortage is temporarily uh, averted. Um, these things are uh, going to uh, produce some more real soon. Uh, and then uh, these things will make up for the bulk uh, difference. Uh, oh, we got rainfall. Um, okay. Building's not working. Why? Uh, storage space full. Uh, okay. Well. I suppose I could just, um, randomly, uh, grab a polymer storage and stuff it there. Yeah, we're back up to food shortage again, apparently. Um, and that's fine. Uh, that's what happens when... Uh, you know, you get uh, food in when there was a shortage. It just disappears. Um, right. Yeah, those are nowhere close. Uh, I suppose what I could do is go in here and go in here and you know just do this and I could do that one more time Okay, that's, uh, the rocket is uh, out on its mission. Yeah, so that, um, that will, uh, I think that should be enough to tide it over, because that's the equivalent of one of these, uh, uh, um, you know, completing a uh, harvest uh, cycle. So, uh, now, over here, these guys are running. Now we're... Uh, we're running, uh, yeah, uh, real quickly now we'll hit uh, breathable atmosphere, we'll open the domes, and uh, that'll be the, why are colonists starving? If there's, uh, um, yeah. Well, I suppose if I were to put a food depot here, um, and maybe if I were to increase the drone count there, yeah, that might, uh, yeah. Whatever. Uh, okay. This is uh, continuing to do its thing. Right. Oh, we could launch a space mirror. Um, yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, right. Uh, good. Uh, so we're um, we're basically at the point where uh, where we're just gonna sit back and wait for a, a minute or two and uh, yeah a minute or two and this will tick over to 95 percent we'll be able to open the domes and 
do our ooh ah and uh, you know that'll be the uh, end of the episode. Now it's kind of cool when the domes are open, so uh, you know we'll we'll see that. Um, these guys are yeah they're producing relatively little, um, but it's not worth the bother to remove them, right? So. Um, so over here, um, yeah, so we've got quite a lot of concrete popping up there. Uh, okay, good. Um, and we're uh, churning through waste rock at an alarming rate now, so, you know, that's, there's that. Um, uh, another sol and a half, two sols, I think, for the, uh, uh, for the uh, breathable atmosphere and that will uh, you know it's basically the wind point uh, you could keep playing indefinitely uh, once you have uh, mohole uh, and the uh, excavator um, you and you can build vaporators uh, you've got uh, infinite resources so uh, you know your colony becomes perfectly sustainable Um, seed vegetation uh, is uh, done. Uh, so we got up to 5% uh, vegetation. Um, so, you know, that's uh, that's not so bad. Um, right, how are these doing? Uh, yeah, okay. Well, anyway. Um, uh, 93... Uh, one saw, um, yeah, one saw, and uh, that will be uh, sorted out. Uh, what are we researching? Deep metal, right? Uh, well, we can land our rocket. Yep. No, suicide. Yay. Um, okay, machine parts. Um, right. Okay, so what is... Uh, yeah, we've got a harvest coming up on that. That's way off. Yeah, that's closer. Um, and that's, uh, closer. That's a space mirror completed. So that's our, uh, temperature up to 75%. Um, so, you know, there's that. Um, there's deep metal extraction. You know, you don't need that once you have mohole. <laughs> right? But, uh... Okay, we're at 94.6. Uh, we're going to be able to open the domes real soon now. Uh, 94.7. Uh, 94.8. And... Uh, well... Why not? And then here we go. Uh, we're going to open the domes. There we go. There's our open domes. And now we don't need... Uh, so let's just uh, come in here. So there's the hanging gardens. There's the uh, Arcology Spires, um, right? Uh, and that also means we don't need uh, um, 
uh, Moxies anymore. Um, so these guys are open now. Uh, and then the passages also open, and you can see there's actually escalate or moving uh, ramp thingies in there. Um, is that all? All sectors scanned? Deep scanned? Yeah, that was the last deep scan sector. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to wait and see what that uh, breakthrough is. Because that is a breakthrough one, right? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, so I'll uh, I'll just wait and see what that breakthrough is, and then we'll uh, end the part just out of curiosity. Um, right. Where's our uh, explorer? Um, there it is. There comes the rover. Uh, yeah. So let's uh, come down here and just uh, observe the uh, night sky here. Uh, there's the space elevator up behind the mountain there. You know, they did a pretty good uh, job on the attention to detail here. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, that is... Uh, yeah. And so we'll see what the uh, breakthrough is. And then uh, we'll go back, do some ooh-ah, and uh, that'll, then I'll do a wrap-up here. Uh, well, I don't need to sit there to do it. Um, right. So, if we uh, come down here, we can just uh, you know take a look here. See, there's our guys walking across the, uh, the surface of the planet straight through. Um, and superior pipes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay uh, so if we uh, drop this down so we have our guys uh, walking across the uh, the ground we have our uh, trees around the edges of the domes oh look there's the uh, oh, oh the drones look kind of cute actually They actually put a little bit of effort into the animations here. You know, I never noticed that before. But, you know, doesn't that look kind of cool? The, uh, all of that. Uh, now it looks even cooler, uh, when you have, uh, uh proper, uh, forestation and everything set up. But, you know, um, I mean, we've got, uh, green here. So, you know, that's kind of cool, too. Uh, oh, these, uh, these things look kind of funny. Uh, anyway, uh, so that's going to be the, uh, the end of, uh, end of this, uh, series. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end it while colonists are starving, right? Um, because of course I am. Uh, right, where's the, uh, right, close that. Uh, you, yeah, the, the harvest on those is coming soon enough, so yeah, it won't be an issue. Uh, anyway, uh, so that's that's it for Inventive India. 
uh, yeah uh, so next uh, next week uh, should be the start of a new surviving Mars uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do I'll figure that out when I uh, when I uh, start it up right anyway uh, next time around uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do anything different here but uh, it'll depend on what I roll I guess anyway uh, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be all for this series like wow uh, and then uh, you know so I guess we'll uh, if you have it if you have any suggestions on what I should do for a series you know leave a comment below but uh, anyway uh, I guess stay healthy, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, and uh, see you back next time with a new series.